Hi, Mark Savage, in my shed. I took the airbox off and I realised that the carb is, they've got no floats basically, it's straight in injection, straight in there. So it's on a rail, which I'm going to show you now. But as I took the box off, now remember I said to you, I had started it and it sounded a little bit worrying. It was a rattle there and I thought maybe the oil hasn't got round, but it really sounded rattling. That scared me for a minute. Come and have a look what I found. So here are your carbs with the rail coming straight from the fuel and injection and they go. But can anyone notice something about the front? Down, down, what's that? And number one. So, number one and number four weren't down. I mean, that's pretty bad, isn't it? I don't know whether that was caused in the crash. I don't know. So I'm gonna take them all out, take the spark plugs out, have a look at them. I'm then gonna put the tank, the airbox back on, the tank back on, and then the headlight back on has to go, and then see if she starts. Because I really, I really just want to hear it start just for my own well-being, so I know that you know, I'm not wasting lots of money buying batteries and everything else. Got a battery 29.99, so I'm gonna buy that and I get the service kit as well. But I might as well have a look at everything and I shall let you know what happens in a minute. I'm not gonna show you taking spark plugs out. I've done that many, many times before. And these are simple services that anybody can do. You haven't got to go overboard. You can just lift a tank up. You need to get the air box out, you know, and it can mess around with that a little bit. But however, not too hard to do. Any very basic mechanic can do it with a few very basic tools. The bugger is with these is getting the actual um, HTE core packs up and out. That can be a little bit of a sod, if I'm honest with you, and they're core packs, um, because of the bar across there, and it's just a case of wiggling and moving, and you know, eventually they will come out, but that can be a bit of a bugger. Um, right, let's get on with this, and my next you're gonna hopefully see, maybe it running. So, plugs are out. Pretty clean to one of you. Now, this is injection system here, the rail. And them bits here are tiny washers like this one here. It doesn't take a genius to know what happened next. Lifted the rail up. Got three washers, not four. I mean, I looked everywhere, torch, dip, couldn't find it anywhere. So I come up with the idea, I have a big pack of them and I had these ones and they were slightly skinnier so I thought I'd put two of them on there. I wasn't looking forward to it if I'm honest with you. They were the right size though and two of them did work out, if not all but there. And then I thought, air, air gun. So I blew everywhere with this air gun, nothing. Then I drained the oil out. Yes, that black gloop there. Thought, had it gone in there? So I poured it all out, check in there, and I blew it out again, and I blew it this way, and I've tried to move it. I mean, I, do you know what I mean? Like, I just couldn't find it, and I'm getting really angry with myself now. So I walked the dog, and I come back, and I blew it out again, nowhere. And I just looked on the floor and thought, bugger, there it was. So. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was good. I'm really happy with that. Good driving there because I've sprayed loads of carburetor cleaning there. I've sprayed carburetor cleaning through here. I've also blown all down the sides here. And I can see the valves all the way down there. They don't look too bad at all. Three or closed ones open. So I've cleaned all these up. And when I popped them back in again, they've sealed really, really well because they just came out quite loose before. So I'm hoping that I've blown through there, blown through there. Um, I've cleaned through here as well because once you take them out you can blow through so in theory all this injection system now is clean the sparky plugs they were finger tight all four finger tight and the leads the two middle ones were on well but the two end ones even when you pushed them on they didn't they didn't seem that they were able to fit on properly literally just they didn't they didn't look right at all so that is all I can do now. I'm now going to put it all back in, 
fresh oil in there. Now, I haven't changed the filter because I've only got cheap oil, and I wouldn't leave that oil in there, but it's going to be better than the crud that was in there. Um, water looks okay, but the reservoir's empty. That must have been where it's over, so I want to top that up. But none of it's worth doing yet, and it's just not worth paying anything out yet because I still don't know. Now, when I've had it running a couple of times now, I've used some Easy Start down the air, and she's revved up very slight, slightly, you know. But I think, also I noticed that when I turned ignition on, and if I haven't got the lights connected and the other one, you don't hear the pump money, but the pump was like really struggling. It was like, you know, not like me, it should be. And I'm, fingers crossed, because they might have been a bit blocked. And if an engine's running on three or dragging two pistons, it will make that knocking noise. Otherwise, if I put all this back together and the pump sounds good and it's all working and it still make a clanging noise, there's, there's a fatal engine noise in there, um, whether it's a snap valve, bent valve, uh, cam gone, I don't know. But it would be, for me, terminal because it's not good. It really isn't good. It's not like carburetors either where you've got the underneath and you can clean them all through. I've sprayed all them through. I did try and get them up, but they will not move at all. And I mean, what's underneath here? Nothing, because it's, it's an injection, isn't it? So I'm going to tighten everything back together, pull all back together. Fingers crossed, I'm going to give it a go. I've got my battery on charge. And so far, I've spent nothing. It's not worth doing a penny yet, which is a little bit annoying because it's like Christmas. You're like, ooh, eBay, and buy lots of little bits. Um, plus some of them may take a while to get here. So my brain knows where the pipes go. If you're going to attempt this, take pictures. I've said this on all my videos, the Jexas and the FJR and other ones. Take pictures of what pipes come off where. For me, I know it, it, it's really like a jigsaw puzzle with only a few pieces left. So they all go in right. For someone who's not done it before, you've got 100 pieces and you've got no idea what the box says. It'll be really hard for you. I'm not saying I'm big Eddie, but you know, 15 years doing all this sort of stuff. Um, so you just sort of get used to where the pipe sort of go. That's not to say that I'm, so like my dog's at my feet and I've got a big tub of oil there. Don't sniff the oil. I'm worried she put a foot in it. You know, she's a bit daft. Right, back up. Beep, beep. Come on, back up, back up. Good girl. <laughs> right, get all this back together and then you'll be live with me to see what result we get, if any. Now, it really is as annoying as it looks to try and use a half-half to try and get it up and then down into the hole. Then try and add the other extension in while pushing it down. Then hand tightening it until it's all the way down. And then getting a ratchet and then slipping that on top and then getting your few turns out of it that you need and it literally is as tight as that it's not fun and then getting that back off getting the half one out which came off so getting that up mind the wires and then getting it off and then getting the second one up and out yeah it's not a fun job it really isn't and then you've got your last one which you have to really go in and back down on and then up and then back down on and then push that in I didn't do it last time and then hand wind it down I mean, you know, I'm facing the other way. I'm not looking what I'm doing. I'm working blind, as it was, but, you know, the plugs, isn't they? And, I mean, as I said, I've got to do all this again when I get the new plugs. But this is all to see whether she will work or not. You know, because you have, you have to do this. And, again, you know, they are just overhand tight. That's what I do anyway. I'm getting this a little bit off now. There we go. That's that one there. And again, you get the half, half bit up, disconnect it, get the other one up, and then get it out. Now, on this one here, I've got no um, little bit in there. So, you know, one of the kits I had, I used this one. So, I undo it with this, and then I bend that one in, pop that in, and undo it. 
but it's not tough enough to get them back out again. And because it's got the rubber grommet in there, when you put them down, you can't get it back off it. It just won't come back off it, or the grommet comes out. See how I always use a couple of these. But there we are, there are the plugs back in. Uh, injection system's back on. Now I'm gonna put the uh, coils on top of them, make sure they fit nicely, because um, they were loose last time. So, get them on, airbox, filter, top, make sure the wires are on, then the fuel tank, connect all these back up, make sure they're okay, and then all the connector bits, and then see if we've got that horrible sound still. And this time we get to hear it. So, it's all back together again. Cleaned everything, all back in there. Hopefully when I turn this on, we'll hear the pump going. And then we're gonna give it a little spray to be honest with you, I'm not going to give it a spray. I'm going to see whether it will start on its own steam. Now it's all clean. Um, there is a lot of carburetor cleaner around, so yeah, let's give it a little spray. Let's make sure that it starts up. Oh, there's the power to it. That's good. See if the pump comes on. Oh, don't sound right either, does it? <coughs> not expecting much. That sounded healthier. Need fuel though. Still happy. So it ran, stalled, and it was definitely running on fuel, and then you got the cracking noise again. Leave me with it. I'm going to keep having a go at this and see what it does. Please like, share, and subscribe, and take care of yourselves on the road. <laughs>